Hey guys, still here, and welcome to World of Contraptions. This is something vastly different than the stuff that I usually cover on my channel, but sometimes these completely different games can be really refreshing. Now, if you've ever built crazy contraptions when, well, maybe you were young, or in Kerbal Space Program, or any other build kind of program, then this is going to be right up your alley. World of Contraptions has to do with contraptions, and a certain block the companion and block, as the game calls it, that has to be delivered to a certain point on the level. Now, you can do this in any way that you please. And this means that you can build a car, you can build a sort of gunnery platform, depending on the challenge and depending on the map. Now, the game is currently in early access and it is available uh, as I am making this video on halfway through July. Um, it is available for just, I think, six euros or something similar in your own currency. So that is really, really cheap. And I'm already having quite a lot of fun with this game. Now, as you can see, the game also has a level editor. So this is where you can build your own levels. And I wouldn't be surprised if this also immediately uploads to the, there it is, the Steam community. So you can use the Steam Workshop. Whether that feature is exactly implemented right now, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is... So you can already start sharing your own little level with the outside world and see how that's going to work out. Similarly, you can try levels that you have downloaded from the workshop and see if you can get a contraption to work on that particular level. There's also a sandbox mode where you can just play any kind of particular map, but I'm going to do a bit of the campaign. Now, as you can see, the campaign does come with a bunch of easy challenges it comes with a bunch of medium challenges and it comes with hard and even extreme challenges. I have done a few and every time that you complete level you get to go to the next one. So there's no skipping. Now the earlier ones are uh, very very easy. The game here pretty much gives you the, the solution to this particular um, option. This is um, an interesting vehicle that I built for a different challenge. and. In this particular vehicle, or in this particular challenge, the vehicle is not ideal because it's just too big. Now, what do you see on the screen here? Uh, save and load your current and previous vehicles. You have the info about the map that you're playing on, the amount of contraptions blocks that you're using, the weight of it, and the amount of complexity. You have a clipboard down here on the bottom left. This is where you can quickly add and remove larger parts of your vehicle. And up here we have a couple of different buttons. I'm currently in the build mode. This is where I can simply add and remove blocks. And if you want to remove a block, just hover over it with your mouse and press X. Over here we have the transmission mode. Now engines, motors, stuff like that, you have to connect them to an actual axis in order to do something. And in this case I have a couple of, I think it's two piston engines which are connected to these two wheels, and these other are connected to these two wheels. And that's simply done by drawing a line from one engine to a wheel. The next mode is the properties mode, where you can select what item does what. And over here you have the connection mode, so you can see exactly how all of your important blocks are connected. Uh, this is especially important in case you want to disconnect part of your vehicle, which for some challenges is going to be required. Back to the build mode, you have a lot of different icons and I'm not going to trouble you with all of those. Um, interesting however is the inventory block or the inventory window. You have quite a lot of blocks already and this is just the, uh, the early release of early access. Where you have all sorts of just structural blocks. Um, you have a couple of blocks which can add different wheels to your contraption. Different engines, sorry different motors, this is an electric motor, a twin piston engine. For 70 horsepower and a twin V engine, a piston V engine for 80 horsepower. But of course, with that, the weight also goes up from 2 to 2.25. Then we have weapons. Not a lot currently. You have a cannon that fires three charges, and you can have a long blade. Now, a long blade might not be that interesting. However, if you combine that with a block that can spin, and that can simply be um, a spinning block that you put on an engine or that you connect to an engine. You can have an actual rotating blade on your vehicle. And finally, we have the utilities track. And there is uh, where you can add all sorts of items which are going to just well, overall massively improve your vehicle. 
give it additional features like for example the ability to steer and not just go straight you have the ability to add and uh, for example here the the linear stage cube that is what you're currently seeing on my vehicle here and this is allowing my vehicle to expand and contract as required so that is one thing that you can do there now this is one of those games where you frequently switch from and to the editor in order to build your vehicle just a tiny bit better or just a bit different and to see how exactly you can get through this level using this contraption. Now down at the bottom here at the editor we have the blocks and um, you have a couple of different hotkey bars. Ideally you just set up the blocks that you want and you can simply do so by going to the inventory window, press I for that. Hold your mouse button on something and just drag it over. And if you want to remove it, hit the little cross and that's that's the editor. It's very, very straightforward and very intuitive. You've got a lot of different components here, but unless you actually get the game, I'm not going to get into this. As this is more of a, a preview slash um, is it worth it so you can evaluate whether this is something that you might want to pick up. Now, I've already completed this level. Let's have a look at something that I have not yet completed and see if I can figure out what sort of a vehicle is required for that. I'm going to start with the last one I did. This is uh, map 8, or level 8. And there is a small gap in the way. Now, I'm starting on this side. You always start in the square. And the square is also the outer limits of the construction of your vehicle. So I cannot build anything outside of this block. I have to bypass these blocks and the TNT, as you might imagine, explodes. When it does explode on or near your vehicle, it will damage said vehicle, so be careful. And you have to get the companion block, and I'll highlight that in a second, to the target over there. Now, it's not like your target block or your uh, companion block can just temporarily hit this thing. It has to be in there for about a second, and then you get uh, completed to challenge. If not, then you could potentially cheat and just sort of launch that block over there, roll it through, and it might still collapse at the other side of the platform, which has happened a few times. Now, in this case, I have already figured out that this vehicle does indeed work, and that's why I have this, let's say, this base car, these four wheels here, and I have my extendable parts over there. Now, let's play, and I can show you how this works. In this case, the vehicle drives up. I'm going to push this stuff into the abyss. Now I'm going to extend my vehicle. And now the front side, more or less, there we go. The front side is on the other side. And now I can even pull my vehicle back in. And I have made it across. That is one way of completing the level. But of course, you could argue that maybe it's more efficient to build a bridge laying vehicle where you use a couple of detachable bolts and you just deploy a bridge and then you drive the little vehicle over it. As long as the critical block over here, the companion block, this is it, the one with the uh, the arrows and the X on it, that's the one that you need to get to the target. Now, as again, I completed this challenge, so let's see what the next one is going to be. What do we need to do? Okay. I have to survive a significant drop, and not just that. There are mines ahead. There are mines down there. Now, what I could do is push the block down, and these blocks, as far as I've seen, they don't explode. They can explode a mine, but what they don't do is disappear themselves. So I could just push this thing down onto a mine, and hope that it's going to uh, just tumble around a little bit, potentially hit a few others, so I can get to my target. As for the vehicle itself, uh, the current configuration is interesting, but it doesn't really work too well. Uh, this is the level 8 car. So I'm going to start with a new contraption. Or rather, I'm going to uh, delete a few of my parts. Because I don't think I need these outer sections anymore. And that's an additional motor. Right. If I'm going to just toss this thing down, then the block on the vehicle will all, well, rapidly, unschedulely disassemble. As such, I can push this down. Oh, it doesn't even hit the mine. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, boom. <laughs> Companion block has been destroyed. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure something else. Build. How am I going to be able to build something that can survive that drop? Um, it has to be something that either reaches all the way down, or it has to be a really tall vehicle. Um, maybe that's an option. Let's just go back to scratch and say that I want to have my uh, my block up here. And actually, a little higher, ideally. Uh, let's see. The higher I start, the easier it might be. Especially if I'm able to extend my wheels all the way down here using the same sort of system that I just used to cross that bridge. So that's what I'm going to try and do. This is going to require a really weird vehicle. Uh, let's see. I had those on here, I think. Yeah, this is them. Right, so if I put this thing down here, I can then put this block here. Oh, hold on. I need a bit more room. So that's going to sit there. Then we're going to have... No, that's a piston. I want that one to go the other way. Press Q and E to rotate these blocks. This is going to solve challenge one, which is to try and get down there. Challenge two is going to be to avoid the mines. Now we're going to have the wheels here. Um, I don't really need the ability to steer on this particular vehicle. Because it's just a straight track. And as long as I can avoid the mines, I should be fine. Right. So I need to have a vehicle that's more or less stable enough to make sure that it can still tumble down. It can extend these wheels down without running into immense trouble, without having massive stability issues. And that might be tricky. Let's make this thing a box to give it a bit more structural integrity. And then add uh, a wheel over there and a wheel over here. Add an electric motor. Make sure that's connected. Oh, this one can only handle one axis. Okay. That's not the one that I need then. Time to go back to the trusty V engine. Connect this one and connect that one. Um, I'll need to set these things up. They need to be in continuous spin. That means that if I press forward, so the up key and the air down key, the vehicle is going to move. And the same thing here. Now, I think I might need a few wheels here as well. Let's see. Oh, hold on. I forgot one thing. And that is a couple of keys to adjust what these things are going to do. Uh, T and G. Simply because they're pretty close to uh, WASD. In this game, you use your arrow keys to maneuver the vehicle. And you mostly use the WASD keys, like I am now, to maneuver the camera. So we're going to try and move forward. Get off. I am never going to make that. Ah. <laughs> I'm already getting stuck. Right. So this is not quite it either. Hold on. Oh, shit. Oh, that's actually not terrible. <laughs> um, if I do that at speed, I really wonder what's going to happen. So I could already just run shit. And I hope that I don't end up on a mine. Yeah, my the wheels, which actually had the propulsion, got knocked off. But the block almost made it there. Your vehicle doesn't have to survive. You just have to make sure that the block actually gets there. So what I could do is add another motor. And just connect that motor to these wheels. And this way... Uh, I might be able to get over there. Because I'm not as reliant on those few wheels and the, the rear steer... Sorry, rear propulsion that I have going on there. 
Hold on. I can... Oh! Okay. Uh, the good news is all the mines disappeared. The bad news is I am... Pro oh. I made it. Sort of. <laughs> I made it. Um, the contraption didn't, but the block did. And that's the important part here. Alright, let's try the next one. We have an unstable bridge. Right. I wonder if this vehicle could do it. I think it might not be able to. Whoa, whoa! Oh, it's unstable in that sense. Okay. If I do that at speed, is that going to help me? Yeah. Moving at speed worked. Okay, challenge done. What's next? I'm going to say, by the way, that this is a spoiler alert. Because um, you will find that these are ways that you can do the challenge. Not necessarily the best way, but a way. So if you don't, or if you want to get the game for yourself and you don't want to see how I'm fixing these things, then by all means, stop watching. Go get the game, link down below in the description, and just try the challenges for yourself. I don't want to spoil everything for you. All right, I need a pretty slim vehicle. I need to drop off something here. Otherwise the vehicle is not, or the, the bridge won't stay down. And it has to be something that I can pretty quickly drop off. Uh, let's go for a, a relatively small vehicle. Companion block over there. With this one, I will have to steer. So I'm going to add these things, steerable blocks. One's going to sit over there. The other one's going to sit over there. Uh, just not in that orientation. It's going to go over there. Wheel here, other wheel there. And to even out the width of the vehicle, I'm gonna do it like this. And now I'll also have to use this one, the small decoupler. It breaks when it is activated. This is going to allow me to drop off a, uh, well, a block, and it doesn't need to be more than one, just there at that little push button. First things first, engine. Uh, let's make it front wheel drive. These are continuous spinners. You are spinning in reverse. Now you're spinning the right way. Continuous spinners. And I have to set these things up so that this is turning left and this is turning right. Uh, I think I need to invert that one. Let's see if this works. No. This is going to make for some very interesting steering build. So maybe it was set up correctly. Turn that off. No, they're both, oops, they're both inverted. So this one, uh, no, properties. This one invert and that one invert. I just set them up in mirror. And this one I want to activate when I press O. All right, let's try this again. So I'm going to have to get over there pretty quick. Uh, and I'm going to get pushed back by that thing. Repeat. Ow. That was a wheel. Uh, <laughs> good luck steering with this thing. So I kind of have to maneuver with it. Oh, hold on. There's something on there. Not exactly as I had hoped to do it, but there was something on there. All right. So maneuver with it, with it, with it, with it, with it, with it. Uh, whoa! Okay. With it. Move with it, move with it. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, it's turning circle is way too wide. I need to rebuild it. It's just too wide, this whole vehicle. Um. Oh, that was a bit much. I just want to have these things reattached. Whoops, not that thing. The smaller this thing is going to be, the better it'll be for me. 
because then I can actually make it through. If it's too wide, I don't think it's going to work because the turning circle will be too wide. So I need to make it smaller and shorter. I can actually use this block as a standard block. And one here. Oh, actually I can use the engine. Now the engine can only be attached like this, or at least if you do it normally. If you want to try and attach something in a different orientation, you press V and you can pinpoint on the part where you want to attach it. Right now it's trying to pick this thing, but I want it over there. And now I can actually use this as a connection block. Now set up the wheels. Uh, oh, can't do that. Set up the wheel there. And here and here. Once again, engines, or rather propulsion. Continuous spin, continuous spin. And as for turning, uh, yeah, that should do. Now the detachable item. All right, let's try this again. Oh, crap, it's turning the wrong way. Let's go back to build and just set these things up correctly. Because this is simply going the wrong way. So I need to remove the wheels and those. This one should be going that way. And this one should be going the other way and then I can attach the wheels. All right, I will have to set up the engine again. Uh, oh. This one, continuous spin forward. This one, continuous spin forward. And the sturble blocks should be fine. All right, let's try it again. All right, move with it, move with it, move with it, move with it. Drop the, no! Warrant, warrant. Um. I don't see myself being able to avoid that thing altogether. Nope. Oh, I just need to hit it. I don't have to drop anything on there. That makes my life a lot easier. So I just have to hit, whoa. I just have to hit it once. What the fuck is my steering doing? Let's try that again. Steering does seem fine, but the vehicle is very low to the ground. You know what? I'm going to change the axis of the, or the, rather the connection of these things. Here. This one, continuous spin, forward, continuous spin. Let's see if it wants to, ve uh, to maneuver now a little smoother. Whoa! The hell? What happened there? too low to the ground. What if I attach different wheels? Uh, what different wheels do we have in the inventory? With a small bike wheel. These are still pretty small. These are a bit bigger. This might work. I don't need this part anymore. Oh, it's tiny. Hold on. When one of these wheels turns, the other one doesn't. steer. See? That's the problem, potentially. Alright, let's remove that block. Might have to make it one block longer. Otherwise, it just doesn't quite want to fit. Uh, no, not that. You're going to point that way, you're going to point... Or was it the other way around? Here and here. Uh, 
That's better. More comfortable. All right. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hit it. Bridge is down, and I need to move the camera forward a bit. There, we made it. 19 seconds. Not too bad. Only took me a few attempts, but I completed it. Next. What you got there? Movable bars. And mines, I might add. Oh joy. Uh, how am I going to get rid of those mines? Could I just build some sort of push bar? That's going to sort of drag over the ground and get rid of the mines? Let's see if this works. Oh. <laughs> the front bar is just a little bit lower, and because of it, the rear wheels, which actually had the propulsion, got off the ground. Oh, it doesn't go off yet. Oh, right. Okay. Whoa! Oh, no. This is going to be problematic. Bye. Bye. Right. So those mines don't just go off. Understood. What would happen if I would use an extra motor? That might help me. Because then I just have a lot more thrust. Continuous spin. Forward. I don't know if I have the right speed now, but... Whoa! Just got decapitated, and I lost the majority of the vehicle. Right, so that's not quite it. What I'm also going to do is add a camera to this vehicle. And the cameras are very handy because they just follow the vehicle around the entire time. So I can set this up in the forward-facing direction. You don't actually need to watch from the first-person perspective. You can. But i rather have fixed person third, so that I can do this. Another vehicle, or the camera is going to follow my vehicle. Ugh. Which is not always ideal. By... Okay. Um... Oh, crap. Dead. To be expected. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I got completely decapitated there. Alright, I think I'm making this thing too hard. What I need to do is just roll forward. Wait for that thing to go. Well, this is not good. But I'm getting there. Don't get decapitated. Go. There. That's all. 10 seconds. Okay, fine. 12 seconds. Because I had to be still for a bit. So you just need to go through it. Got it. Small wall. Uh-huh. I don't foresee too many problems with this, as long as I'm able to raise the vehicle somewhat. So I need to have wheels which can scale over that. Uh, this is probably going to call for a much larger vehicle. So what I'm going to do is start with one block. Let's first make a core of the vehicle. Uh, let's see. That's the extender one. Oh, right, that's in collision. Yep, you're right. It has to be up a bit higher. Alright, I'm just spitballing here. If I have a push bar here like that, 
and I'm able to push down any particular section of the wheels. Then that might just work. So I'm going to try and make a sort of tall core, if you will. Whoops. And set up another one of those things here. So that's where my wheels are going to go. Now I don't have to steer, that's comfortable. I can just go in a straight line. And then I can have another one here, I think. All right, if I put this block here and then just make it a bit wider so I have a more stable base. Oops. And add wheels there, there, there. Here, here, and oh, not there. Here. Then I can put two engines on here, but they're now not quite the right way attached. Or actually, no, they can be. I suppose uh, I would have to attach them there like that and another one here right this way if I connect everything properly I should always have some way of moving the vehicle so I can do the same thing here Set this thing up, continuous spin forward, continuous spin. Right, now I need to have a couple of different keys so I can pretty easily move the vehicle up and down. Parameter keys. Um, this is going to be O and L. The middle one is going to be I and K. And the other one is going to be U and J. Oh, right. And I should bring my companion block. Because that is fairly important. That's what the whole thing is about. Okay, let's check. Yeah. Alright, here goes. Slowly approach the wall. Try to steer clear of the mines. You know, the mine that's currently starting to tick. Um, now I want to entirely raise up... No, not... Well, actually, this is not terrible. I'm going to raise this section. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. Yep, it's going. Uh, now I need to raise the middle section. Forward. Whoa. Um, hmm. So about that whole non-steering thing? <laughs> that might not strictly be true. Okay, um, let's get this done. I need steering wheels on here. Or rather, steerable wheels. I already forgot where or how I had these placed. I think like that. Yeah, alright. Um, raise the nose. This thing is hard to control. Uh, Alright, push it. Oh crap, those things are no longer moving. Build mode. Because I took off the wheels. Alright, I'll just have to use the middle ones, I guess. Uh, set this one up as continuous spin. Spin and forward. Move. What is with those wheels? They just won't move at all. Are they even attached? Now they are. They weren't actually attached to the vehicle. There we go, now we're moving. Whoa, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Uh, steer that way. Stick to the middle. 
That mine's going active. Forward. Damn mine. They place these mines in such a position that you're always going to get hit by one. Alright. If I just slam into this thing... No, 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 no. Don't... Don't pivot. Oh, shit. Forward. <laughs> Not quite. Um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's quite shaky, this whole system. And I think therein lies the problem. If I just lower all of them, so lower the core, or sorry, that, yeah, that's the middle. I just have it sort of pivoted back. Hopefully now I can hit this thing at, ah, that was the, oh no, the whole front pivot just broke off. Initially it worked out rather well. And that's when I had the front wheels actually get across. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm thinking about this thing too difficult. That would be the first time. What if the middle can't move? What if the middle is just immovable? Because I don't really need to raise the middle. I just need to raise the the nose and this the, the tail. Oh no, that's not quite it. I need one more block. One, two, one, two. Oh, not too quick. Maybe I can do the same thing with the rear one. Because if I do it like that, then I have a, a fairly stable base. I can raise up my front wheels and I can deploy them when I've made it to the other side. Then I can push them down again. So I would initially raise the front wheels and just hard push them down when I get across. Let's see if that works. So. Uh, raise the front wheels. Yes. Ha ha. Clever plan. Um, if it works. Which it kind of doesn't. It would also appear that one of my wheels is not properly either connected or it just doesn't want to work. Does this make it better? Maybe I hadn't set it to continuous spin. Alright, raise it. Shit. Oh no. Raise it, raise it, raise it. Come on. Whoa. Okay, uh, that's actually not terrible because it didn't blow up. I might have lost a wheel, but maybe it's still survivable. Mm hmm. I have to be quite careful now. I can still steer it with some creativity. Yes, I made it. I made it. Hold 50 seconds. <laughs> quite long all right with this i'm gonna leave you um this is world of contraptions early access as i mentioned and i think it is a fun game it's a game that i probably won't be featuring that much um if at all let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments and whether you want to see more of this if you want to see me struggle with more of these challenges um and overall i hope you've enjoyed it link down below is in the description and um Oh, I can I can I can endorse it. I enjoy it. Yes, the developers gave me a key as I requested it, and I thought, you know what? This is something completely different than Wargame. I'm just going to show this off. 
and see how you guys like it. Anyway, that is all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I shall catch you guys soon for another video.